Hi, my name is Ben and I'm a Tableau and Ordinary Consultant at the Information Lab and in this video I'm going to show you how to create uh, multiple diagonal reference lines in Tableau. So I was creating a Makeover Monday visualization on child marriage and I started my analysis by building a scatter plot. And I drew the scatter plot on Tableau and it was showing some kind of story but I wanted to add some extra context. So I thought if I could add some lines to determine how much more likely a female was to be married than a male, this could really um, add that extra easy accessibility to a reader. So this was my first step. And then the second step, you know, we add some colour to, to determine how much more likely um, you are to be married different uh, compared to the genders. And then adding those reference lines just really helps distinguish um, those groups. And then the, right at the end, you can always add some extra annotations, extra legends, and so forth. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can uh, build this view. And let's get to it. So I'm just going to go to Tableau. I'm just going to connect to the data. And the data you can download from the Makeover Monday website. And I'll show the resources at the end there. So this is the data. And as you can see, it's a nice, simple data set. There's just three column, four columns, uh, country, um, percentage of females married by 18, percentage of females married by 15, um, and percentage of males married by 18. So let's start by building the view. So I'm going to have uh, females married by 18 onto columns and males married by 18 onto rows. And I'm going to split this by country onto detail. And I'm just going to change this to a circle. And you can see I've got the wrong one on there. So uh, let's bring males on there. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to fix the axes. Um, so we're just going to have that at minus 0.5 and about 1. And we'll have that as well at minus 0.5 and 1. Just so the axes are fixed. And I'm actually just going to swap those around so it's like that. Okay, great. So I'm just going to format so we can see the grid lines a little better. Um, so grid lines, just going to make them a bit stronger. Okay, so we've got the basic start of our scatter plot. I'm just bring uh, females by 15 onto size. And we can see that looks like the first uh, slide we had previously. So what I'm going to do is add some distinguishing factors to build these reference lines. So in order to build a diagonal reference line in Tableau, it's not a native feature of vertical, horizontal, or vertical reference line. So we actually have to create calculated fields in order to do this. Um, so what we essentially want to do is plot the same um, measure, but against the other axes. So if I bring some of the males over here, um, we can see um, if I go onto a dual axis and I synchronize the axis, that's making a 50, um, a 45 degree line, essentially one to one relationship. And by changing how this is determined, I'll just change this to a line to make it a little bit easier. Um, by changing like how much this is uh, to a factor of, it will change the gradient of the line. So if I change this to two, this is now twice as steep. So we can see for every 10% along for males, um, that goes up to 20% for females. So that's essentially what we're going to be doing, building some calculated fields to do this. So I'll just remove that and I'll just start by creating the first calculated field, which is going to be females sometimes more likely. And that's literally just going to be some of males uh, married by 18. And then the next one I'm going to build is uh, Females, females two times as likely. And this is literally just going to be males married by 18 times by two. So everyone along, every percentage along, it's now two percentage up. And then one more, um, we do this uh, females five times as likely. So I'll just bring males onto there and we'll just change that to five. So for every percentage along for males, it will go five percentage up for females. Okay, so what we want to do is, I'm just going to change this to sometimes as likely. 
Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building the view to drive these extra points. So if I bring measure names to filters, and I just need to uncheck everything apart from one, two, and five. Okay. And then if I bring uh, measure values onto rows, you can see it's starting to build this out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove the by 15 of the, um, of the size. I'm just going to change it to a line. It's going to be a bit funky. If I just move country down, it will build the lines as we want. I'm just going to right click on measure values, bring this to a dual axis, click on the axis, and synchronize the axis. OK, so we can now see we got the one times as likely, two times as likely, and five times as likely. And we can just kind of sense check this. We see as we go like 0.1 along and 0.1 up, that's one for one. 0.1 up to 0.2, that's 1 to 2. And 0.1 along uh, to 0 0.5 is to 5. So we're pretty close to what we want the final outcome to be. The annoying thing now is these lines aren't going all the way to the edge. So if we right click and go to trend lines, shovel trend lines, and go to measure values, and then get a line which goes all the way to the end. We can also bring size down to nothing, and it'll just get over that kind of like tumbling bit over there. And then what the next thing we can do is we kind of like define, change the color for in these groups just to help the reader that little bit more. So I'm just going to create another calculated field. I'm going to call this bubble legend. And I've already got the calculation here. Um, and we're just going to copy and paste that in. And basically what this is saying is when males are more likely than females, it'd be males more likely, so anything below this red line. Um, when it's between one times and two times as likely, it will be in this back of the fan. Um, then this one is between two and five times more likely, so between the blue and the green. And then five times more likely is going to be all these colours here. So if I just hit OK, and I bring, if I go back to the, uh, the circles, I bring the bubble legend onto colour. I see that's coloured. Um, but not the colors that we want. So we'll just go into the bubble legends, we'll edit those colors, and I'll just change it. So we want one to two times more likely to be red. We want um, two to five to be teal. We want plus five to be green. And if it's male is more likely, let's just have that as brown. Okay, so we can see we've got our final visualization. You can obviously do some more formatting to change these to percentages, um, and any annotations you want. I hope that you found the video useful and please follow any resources here.